you'll see I've got a friend in the studio with me. i got Miss Kimberly. She is the mother of Cassidy, who is a Mississippi Make-A-Wish kid. And we are coming up one week away from World Wish Day, which is on April 29th. And they're here to share their Make-A-Wish story. So welcome. Yes, thank you so much for having me. And I'm putting Cassidy on blast because she chose a field trip yes. over joining us here on Good Things, which I, which I <laughs> said she got to go to Trustmark Park. I will give her a pass on this one. That's I would rather right, be there right. watching baseball <laughs> in, Most this, definitely. in this beautiful weather mm-hmm. uh, than inside a studio uh, talking talking about things. But but this is still something important to your family. I know yes. World Wish Day is a big uh, celebration of all the wishes that Make-A-Wish is able to grant over over the year. So yeah. let's start with yours and or Cassidy's story. Tell us how you got connected with Make-A-Wish. Okay. Well, um we got connected because of our doctor that we were going through it was our neuro neurosurgeon she um neurologist after a certain amount of time we've probably been going for i don't know i guess about five years because we didn't we found out late in life that she had a disease it was about five or six when we knew that something was wrong we carried her and she got tested and um, it's called ocular emodia proxia type one and what that is, it has to do with the cerebellum in the back of your neck that it didn't get completely developed in my womb. And so it's going to slowly deteriorate over time. And um, and so with that, we're like, okay, everything's going to be okay. But as it goes on, by age nine, though, by age nine, they said that she would be in a wheelchair permanently. And today she is 16 years old. And then they said by age 18 that she'd be a vegetable, that I would have to do everything for her. And let me just tell you that God is good and he is real because my baby girl can walk, okay, and she can uh, dress herself and eat herself. She does sit in a wheelchair on long walks because it does get tiring and she is wobbly and whatnot, but she can move and she's got the most resilient uh, strength that I have ever seen and just smiles all the time. Her nickname is Smiles because she smiles all the time. And so she's just just beautiful. And um, okay, and so I had to say that because that was our background. That's who that's absolutely you know, that's yeah. who she is. And yes. that's who she still is. She's yes. still got that spunky spirit, it yes. sounds like. And making it to the Sweet Sixteen is a big deal for everybody. <laughs> yes, most definitely. <laughs> and and to know, though, I think every time it brings comfort to families who hear, OK, you get a doctor's best educated guess at prognosis, but we do serve a mighty God and every case is different. And so you still have to stay faithful Mm -hmm. and just walk it through and Mm -hmm. then, you know, see, see how things may, uh, may unfold. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here you are, what, 10 years later and we're going in a good direction. Yes. He said my grace is sufficient and he ain't lying because it is because it gives our strength every single day. So I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Yes. And that's kind of too, like leading into the makeup wish where it's just something positive to look forward to it gives families the relief and hope that you know there are folks out there that are are still fortunate and don't have the money to do what they you know want to do for their children because i'm a mother of five a single mom of five and so for them to come in and do this wish for her first we were going to go somewhere but then COVID happened and then they planted us at home and then so she was like well I was like what else and she was like well I do want my room redone I said well that's perfect and so we started putting together ideas they are amazing at orchestrating everything and putting everything together and taking you know a lot of the hard work out of it we just gave them like a ballpark figure of what we were looking for and then they just went way and beyond and so for people to go out there and donate you don't know who you're helping you don't know how much you know that it's going to bless this family and this child because they didn't leave any of us out they did it for all of us they gave everybody a little something you know for their rooms and they even gave jocelyn a 50 dollar uh gift card and that's my second oldest okay and then they even gave me like a little bedroom you know comforter suit and stuff like that and so they had like really just went way and beyond and blessed us so very dearly and we're so grateful for that so if people just don't know please donate to this company i mean they are really helping people and making a difference and making this special for these children who you know maybe that's all they do is stay in their room or maybe they want to go somewhere maybe that because they don't know how long their life is nobody really does but they're really at a disadvantage here extremely disadvantaged so this just brightens their little life and then just to see it come to life Kesty was so excited i mean the the beautiful smile and the whole time she just was glowing and just so excited like 
like Claire's went way and beyond and like gave her a two hundred and fifty dollar gift card. Oh God, she'd spend that for years yeah. in Claire's. <laughs> Buy two, get three yeah, free, all the things. Yeah, <laughs> Cassidy get lost in Claire's. She with... <laughs> does. Yes, definitely. And then they also sent a little board home with like all kinds of necklaces and bracelets and stuff on. So they made it, and we didn't even ask. And but that was what she needed. Like, of course, you know what girl doesn't like jewelry? I mean, come yeah. on, you know. Well, your your response, Kimberly, to just the excitement of watching your child get to experience pure joy while she's had maybe a, a rough go at it or you hate to you, more normal that's a set on their dryer you hear that all the time but you know she she obviously had to endure things yes. in a younger age that most wouldn't even be able to fathom so when you do you know connect with make a wish you recognize that they are giving these opportunities for these kids just to have you know moments of specialness or yes. feeling special and so it, it does matter. And watching you get excited that she had the opportunity as a mom myself, man, I'm over here. I'm, I'm going to cry. <laughs> She's going to cry. Yes. Um, because there, because you, you get the sense that you were able to, you know, you can't fix it. Yeah. And so to watch them still have, be able to have those moments of joy means, means everything to parents. So let's back up just a little bit. So she was walking through her diagnosis, and the years were going by because now she's sweet 16. Mm -hmm. You mentioned six or seven. Where in there did you guys connect with Make-A-Wish? We connected with Make-A-Wish when it was in 2018 um, when we connected with them. Um, um, so that was... I don't know. 2018. Oh, gosh, doing math. That's four years now. Okay. Because then, co co yeah. then okay. COVID. Well, see, and then as we were waiting, this was so special because as we were waiting to, because I was at that time I was working, and so it was hard, you know, single mom working, you know, so I was like, I was kind of like on the standstill with this weight, you know, and, and everything. But as we were waiting on special occasions like on her birthday or Christmas or, you know, they would send little care packages to the house to say, Aww. we haven't forgot about you. We know your wish is, it's here and it's in the making you know and that made it so special and it, that kept it real for her you know because she was like well is it going to happen and then you know out of nowhere this little sweet package would show up and I'm like yeah it's going to happen just hold on baby you know and yes and so that made it even more special to know that they had forgot have about a her theme with her room i love this idea that she chose something that would last longer than a trip which i mean that's yes. to each his own kid but you you appreciate hearing that make a wish mississippi meets those kids that are in our state when mm -hmm. you when you support Make a Wish Mississippi, you do support the children within our own yes. own borders, which I think is just important to know. Yes. Not that other kids don't deserve it, uh, but their states are taking care of them. That's right. Um, That's right. You know that that they meet the individually. It's like mm -hmm. it is the kids' wish. It's mm -hmm. not a list of things just to choose from. It's taking time to get to know. So what's what was her theme? A beach theme. She went like a she wanted a beach much, every day. Yeah, yes, that's right. And so they did really good at coordinating it and the pictures on the wall and um, how they redid the closet is just beautiful. And so her sister's in the room with her. One of her sisters is. And so they both got uh, similar, you know, beds and comforters and stuff like that. And yeah, so it was, it was beautiful. It's kind of like blue walls and we they redid the floor and we got a ceiling fan and, you know, like seashells and uh, for, you know, pictures and, and little anchors, too, I think. Yeah. So it's really pretty. The whole yeah, sort so. of like reveal, yeah. like HGTV sort of reveal yes. thing, which to me, I think it's that's almost as exciting mm -hmm. to look forward to as sort of a vacation. But mm -hmm. she gets to enjoy it every day. That's right. And, you know, gets to be a teenager. Mm -hmm. Right. And gets to go to prom. You mentioned yes. she was coming up. Yeah. And when you when you feel like when you hear these stories and you feel like you don't know where you can play a piece in the uh, in their puzzle or in their journey. Journey, you can by by helping to support Make a Wish uh, Mississippi. You're giving something that you know that the parents aren't able, able to, to do. do. You're yes. connect. You're you're bridging a gap. And I know that you will be hearing a lot about Make a Wish Mississippi over the next week, especially leading up to World Wish Day. But if you're moved, you can go ahead and go to wish.org/ms and you can make a donation. Um, you can make it in Cassidy's name. That's I know right. that yes, would mean a lot do. too because I'll have to admit, Kimberly. I mean, you you just bring to light why this matters because so matters it's for the kids but it's also for the entire family mm -hmm, while mm -hmm. there may be one enduring you know their their medical condition the, the whole, whole family, family is walking yes is sort of walking through it well i appreciate your time you tell cassidy that mm -hmm. the next time she has to come and visit visit yeah. us here Awesome. I sure will. I'll let her know. All righty. That's <laughs> wish.org slash MS to support Make-A-Wish Mississippi. But we've got more good things for you coming up next.